Africa Global Radio. Our story, our growth, our future. Headlines across Africa. Welcome to Africa Global Radio. I'm Yigdi Mileng Lebechang bringing you headlines across Africa for Friday, 5th of April. In today's bulletin, Botswana pushes back pressure by Germany to impose unrealistic assumptions in light of pragmatic conservation strategies. North American states advise residents to take safety measures as NASA plans to launch rockets during the total solar eclipse. And President Felix Chisekedi enjoys praise from women rights activists in the DRC. Botswana has been under unrealistic expectations to conserve the overpopulation of increasingly dangerous and beautiful elephants despite the country's exceptional animal and wildlife conservation practices, which should humble all of Europe for its evident lack of conscience to practice nature conservation in its pursuit of industrialization and material development. The reality is, a ban on importing hunting trophies would be an economic blow for citizens by cutting safari revenue. Moreover, Botswana's government has a duty to its citizens to balance the boom in the elephant population, which has resulted in the majestically gigantic mammals growing into human territory, damaging homes, drinking water from community distribution pipes, feeding on crops, and horrifically trampling people to death. With these atrocities facing the underpopulated southern African country, England and Germany's recent assumption that the licensed hunting is not vital for human safety reflects a lack of conscience for the two and a half million people living in Botswana. In the words of His Excellency Mokwezi Gyaabezwe Masisi, it is very easy to sit in Berlin and have an opinion about our affairs in Botswana. We are paying the price for preserving these animals for the world. On Monday, 8th of April, a total solar eclipse will begin over the South Pacific Ocean, passing over Mexico's Pacific coast from around 11.07 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, across the United States and into Southeast Canada. Several states and some Texas counties that will be in the path of totality during this event have issued warnings and state of emergencies ahead of it. The authorities have advised residents to stock up on food, gas and other essential supplies as they prepare for an influx of visitors to witness the eclipse. The American and Canadian government expect significant strain on infrastructure, with some estimating an influx of 17,000 to 66,000 visitors. In addition, NASA has announced they plan to launch three rockets 260 miles above the Earth during the same time as the eclipse and the European Organization for Nuclear Research decided to fire up the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator at the exact time the eclipse takes place. All this will take place just after 8 p.m. on Central African time. President Felix Tshisekedi's appointment of Judith Sumina as the country's prime minister took many Congolese by surprise. Women rights activists in the Democratic Republic of Congo have congratulated President Felix for appointing Judith Sumina. They've hailed the move as a big step towards gender equality and are looking forward to an improvement in the country's security and social conditions. And with that, we've come to the end of Headlines Across Africa with me, Ikdimeleng Labachang. Join us again on Monday for a full week of bulletins right here on Africa Global Radio. For this and more, check us out on africaglobalradio.com, on Facebook and YouTube, Africa Global Radio, on Twitter and Instagram, AF Global Radio.